Okay, before I begin, I have to warn you, I'm using a very old headset and microphone, and so if I sound a bit breathy, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, now I'm starting off by looking at a design I know I can stitch in one of my hoops on my domestic embroidery machine. And it's a cockerel, and it's an embroidery library design, so apologies to embroidery library for what I'm going to do to it. Now, it's got 16 colours, and I know that because at the bottom of my Embird screen, it's got everything I need to know. My design is in my documents and settings, my documents, old embroidery, embroidery library, birds, design number, size, 122.6 millimetres by 11.3 millimetres, which is 4 by 8, 3 by 4 by 3, 8 inches and for stitches it's got 33,783. It's got 16 colours but 41 colour changes. Now Ember allows you to do a colour sort. Don't do it. You will destroy your design. Okay now we're going to go into editor. There's my design but I want it to fill my hoop. So most people just grab a handle and they drag it with no thought to what they're doing to the design. You don't do that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the magnifying glass and I'm going to enlarge it a little and I think a little more. I can quite clearly see the underlay. I can quite clearly see that's a loose density over another fill stitch, same with that one, that dark blue over a pale blue. I can see the underlaps so there's no gaps will develop. I can see that this red is a loose density laid over a mustard, which again is a loose density laid over a beige. And then it's feathered down over quite a loose density here. So I'm going to put it through the player and the player is the sew simulator. So let's have a little watch at it stitching out. Okay, that's a loose density. Now that's another loose density. That's a loose density gone over a standard density. That's a standard density with a loose density shading over the top. That's a standard density. Underlay and then a fill going over the top of it. And a loose density there. And another one gone on there. And another loose density. Now if you don't know what the densities are, and you go messing around, reducing or enlarging, chances are you're going to make these densities too tight. You have to find out what the original densities were. And in Embird, that isn't as difficult as it may seem. There you go, that's a loose density. So is that. I'm going to speed this up because I want to get to the end. And there's more colours have gone on top here. That's two layers of cover fill. Same, f that one was one with a darker overlay. Okay, now this whole design has been sequenced to cut down as far as possible the number of thread changes and to keep the registration correct. That's why you don't do colour sorts. You saw the layers going on top of layers. That's why you don't jump in with both feet and go, oh, I'll just catch hold one of the handles and I'll resize that. So now I'm going to tell this close and go back into Embered Editor, which is where we are now. I'll tell you what, I'll click off all colours except the colour I want. And to do that, I come up onto this right panel and I click on a colour thumb. And I'm clicking on the second one in. I'm going to say 
hide all colors except this one. And there it is. Right click and tell it take into studio. Okay, right. And I want that color. I don't want any of these others. Hide all except selected. Okay. Now I want my measuring tool. To measure density in Embird, you click on two forward running rows. This one has got a little bit of curve in it. So I click on one. I miss the next one because that's a return row. And I click on the next one. And that tells me I have got 1.84 millimeters. That's the density in Embered of 18 and a half on the density scale if you were digitizing the design. Okay, so let's go along to the next one. 2.2 millimeters. So I know my density is around 1.1, which is a very loose density. Okay, I want to lose that and click back up here. Show all. There we go. Editor. Cancel. I just want to go back into editor, please. Okay. Okay. So we now know that this is the density setting of 1.84. So let's go and. I don't know we do anything for a minute. This is an old computer. I decided I'd use this one because my other one didn't have many designs in it. Now, I want to take this back down. Okay. Hoop size. Standard. I own for a domestic a Janome 10,000 with a 140 by 200 mil hoop. Okay, that'll do nicely. Thank you. But I want this to grow. So I drop off the magnifying glass, I right click on it, and I tell it I want to set size. They've changed the menus. This is the latest version, set size. Okay, current size is. 122.6. Now let's say I want to keep this at about a 20% increase. 120. Okay. New size now will be 147 by 133.5. Stitch density. Adjust stitch density when resizing. Keep original fill pattern. Calculate stitch density automatically to obtain prescribed stitch count. Now, if you know what the prescribed stitch count is, and it's not difficult, you go and you find your calculator. And we know there are 33955 stitches plus 20% will give me 474, 47,466. Okay, now I know what I want that to be. But I'm not going to tell this that. I want it to keep the original fill pattern. And I'm going to tell that, OK, 40,746. OK. I said OK. Come on. But my design says it's got 46,580 stitches. So what's changed so drastically? Well, let's take a little look. Some of these are not quite as loose as they were. So let's take a look at the earth at the bottom and the legs. There's more than 20% and the total of stitches gone in here. And the stitch count has jumped from 33,559, I think it was, to 46,580, whereas 20% only put it up to 40,746. So let's tell it undo. Now we're back down to 33,955. Unless you know how to go in and identify all your densities and increase the size of each individual part in the design, please don't increase or decrease it. You don't know if the digitizer has used a manual tool, and manual tools means the digitizer has preset stitch lengths and he's put each length in individually. You can't resize those, no matter what you do.
a lot of the time all you do is you elongate stitches you widen up the densities or you put a blanket density on as happened here and you're going to spoil the look of your design if it fits in your embroidery hoop don't resize it if it isn't big enough for your embroidery hoop go and see if they do a bigger version if they don't write to them and ask them can they resize the design for you because they will have the original native design format which has got all the information that you lack every part of this has got a formula and the original digitizer holds that formula they don't sell it to you it can't be stitched on a machine so please don't mess with a digitizer's design and if they are a new digitizer and they don't really know their software very well they won't know what to do anyway and they'll just do exactly what you've seen here mess around trying in an editor to alter a stitch file now that's the worst thing you can do resize by using handles all you've done is compress the stitch lengths and compress the densities go the other way and all you are doing is lengthening the stitch there you go you're lengthening the stitch densities you're ruining your design right that's the original design that's all I'm doing in this video I've harangued you enough now in the next video I'm going to show you how you can split a design using Embered and we'll do the two versions the auto split which they never used to have obviously they've got one now I haven't really had time to do a proper examination of the program we used to have slicing um, let's see if we still got slice no we haven't they've got rid of the slice so let's have a look at the auto split very quickly ah it's still a slice maximum size of each part 100 by 100 yeah it's um, it's a new name for slicing it'll just slice out lumps that are the right size for your hoop but when you put it all back together you're going to get seams where it goes together so I'm going to tell that cancel so we won't bother looking at that we'll just go straight into splitting an oversized design okay I'm finishing this video here